What's up guys, got an extra video for you here this week. Uh, I wanted to do this entry to Roger's contest uh, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do. He had a really cool idea. Just simple, keeping it simple. Six evil albums and six shout outs. So I think that uh, I'm gonna cut on into it before I start rambling. Roger, I have no clue how to pronounce your last name so I didn't bother trying. His channel will be linked up in the description. Deserves more subs, absolutely 660. Uh, subscribers is a big deal man it took me a couple of years to get to that so two years that's pretty good i'd say uh so let's cut on into it it's gonna get really brutal in this video um so i'm gonna start off with what we're listening to we're listening to danger danger this is about as unbrutal as it gets it's like sleazy uh hair metal-ish hard rock kind of stuff somewhere in between there big big fan of the style especially lately it's been the mood of choice for the past, I don't know, week or so for me. Uh, but yeah, I didn't feel like drinking a beer, so we're drinking a raspberry seltzer water. I cut out pop from my drinking habits, so I am uh, almost a week out of drinking no Coca-Cola, which is a feat for me. So uh, let's get into it. I got the albums here, six of them. We're starting off with Pure Unadulterated Evil. Husmark by Isengard. This man right here, Fenris, is the face of evil because he has deprived us of live Dark Throne for almost 30 years now. Despicable. Absolutely inexcusable behavior. No, I'm just kidding. That's absolutely a joke. I love this album, Fenris. I don't know if Fenris is evil. <laughs> I doubt it, judging by the pictures of him with his cats. But um, <laughs> I love this album. I actually have six right here still. I just thought that would be a stupid thing to mention. So I wanted to come at this with a complete different angle than everybody was going. Uh, everybody's going, you know, devilry and evil and blasphemy and, you know, showing Archco covers and things like that. That's, that's its own thing, but I wanted to come at it with a mindset of reality to it. I have one album in here that is a, a fantasy form of evil, and that would be this album by L4. I don't know how to pronounce the name by any means, but check that out. I've mentioned this in um, some of my favorite album covers videos, but check it out. You got caverns with what I imagine to be some nefarious activities going inside, like a legion of darkness, dragons, castles in the distance. I'm an absolute huge fan of this album and the um, the cover specifically is what drew me in. The music itself is pretty much uh, typical second wave style black metal played by a modern artist who specializes in dungeon synth as well as more epic and atmospheric black metal. This is maybe the faster side of atmospheric black metal, but I think it's a lot more second wave black metal style. Uh, but it's a great, great record. If you guys haven't heard this L4 one, I would highly recommend it. Next, it's about to get real gruesome. Um, so this one, is Hymns of in Indigestible Separation by Last Days of Humanity. This one in particular is uh, a real photo. That's a real photo of a dead human being, which I think really ups the evil factor. You know, I don't know what the story is behind these head crushings, but they are absolutely vile and repugnant in every single way. Um, so, you know, if you guys haven't heard this, it's some really nasty, nasty gore grind. Uh, one of a kind, really. Definitely inspired by Carcass, as all gore grinds bands tend to be. But I think they really upped the ante of extremity. I don't know how much more extreme metal can get um, with something like this. These crazy pitch shift vocals, which again, Carcass already did. But this, this band just takes it to a different level, man. It's just really, really, really a lot. I'm not trying to keep it up on the screen because of that. Um, but yeah, that's another evil cover. We have the genuine face of evil right here. Miss Fauna joining us. She curls up and ball in my lap in like a third of my videos because she's a sweetheart. Um, so next one. Forgotten Tomb with Songs to Leave. This is actually an EP, but I'm going with it anyway. And I think this one's particularly evil, uh, considering the evils of depression and mental illness. I mean, there's a dude just sitting in a bathtub bleeding from cutting himself. And I don't know, I have a hunch that's real. That's a real thing he was doing. 
but I'm not particularly certain. But if that's the case, I mean, it shows the reality of something this gruesome and evil in our real world that we go through. Some people go through every day. Um, and I think that's a lot, a lot more immediately, what is the word? Something a lot more, you know, tied into our everyday lives, but uh, forgotten to. We're going back to depravity here. This is, this is fantasy, but it's absolutely brutal in every sense of the word. This is Symphony of Slit Throats by Syphilic. Um, absolutely deplorable deplorable album cover it's about as disgusting as they come i don't remember if this is considered a full length or a ep because it's only five tracks it's it's comical brutal death metal the the, the fact that it has you know a whole family including the children mutilated and destroyed on the front cover is repugnant in every sense of the word um it's supposed to be stupid i mean you know how that is but it, it doesn't get more evil than like a destructive real life scenario in my mind so syphilis next a reflection of the past by drowning the light this one doesn't look that weird it just looks like a naked chick in a bathtub with a head on a stake in the background but obviously this is depicting elizabeth bathory and her tendency of killing virgins and drinking their blood eating their flesh and bathing in their blood uh, because she believed, you know, through some kind of witchcraft and whatever, pagan, whatever stuff she was into, she believed that would give her eternal life. Um, and that really happened, obviously, it was so long ago, we have no actual paint, we have no actual pictures of it, but this is, you know, a, an artist depiction of what it might have looked like, which, that's gruesome. I think her body count was well over 400 people, and that's, that's a lot, man. That's a, a real true face of evil right there. And the last one, I, I, I had to show this one because how much worse does it get when it comes to evil? That is a literal picture of a suicide uh, done by one of the members of the bands, which if you ask me is a pretty evil tendency, even for shock value and uh, as depraved as uh, Euronymous seems to have been in his every day to day life. Um, you guys have all seen this one. This is nothing new to you. The music on this one's hard to listen to. It's a it's particularly raw, which makes it that much more of a, a difficult, harsh listen. But yeah, mayhem. Now it's time for shout outs. I think I have a million people I can name on here. You know, Rick, Steve, all these guys, Anthony and Cody over at the Metal Miners. All these cool people. Uh, but I want to go for some people who have a lower sub count that I think need more. I mean, Hammerheart Metal Reviews would definitely be a guy. He's grown substantially in the past year, but I would still love to see it grow further. They got his great videos. He does tons of reviews, rankings. He keeps me hip on the new black metal because we have incredibly similar taste. So if you guys have not checked out Hammerheart Metal Reviews, he will be linked in the description, as will all of these six shoutouts. Another good buddy I've made over the years here would definitely have to be Joe from Joe's Metal Man Cave, a pretty new friend of mine, but nonetheless a great dude, great taste. Um, I enjoy chatting with him back and forth. The guy is one of the guys who shows tons of black metal on his channel. He shows a lot of other things too, uh, synth music, death doom, anything atmospheric, melodic death metal, and it's really, really cool to see somebody kind of carrying the torch along with this black metal thing because i noticed the tendency of youtube has gone a little bit more in other directions and you know i'm a black metal guy so i definitely appreciate such things beyond that uh who else would i like to shout out i didn't particularly plan them all that much but i think pie face would deserve a million more subscribers as well um he is a newer dude to YouTube, long time commenter, pretty much is on every video I go on, which is amazing that you keep up with this dude. So good on you for that, dude. You deserve a million more subs as well. I love the videos. You have a really good sense of taste with everything. Uh, again, linked up in the description. Beyond that, I would, I guess I would definitely still like to shout out Steve. Anyway, Steve from ST Young. He's a real good buddy of mine. I talk to him constantly pretty much all the time it's a day or two that it goes by sometimes just because i'm terrible at answering sometimes and the guy keeps busy as do i so sometimes you don't have time to just sit around and fart around on your phone you know that's just how it goes sometimes um 
but nonetheless a deserving dude of more subs. He's been rebuilding his collection and you, you just get to keep up in classic after classic and that obscure thing that I don't know about that he shows. And that's something I really do appreciate and look forward to in a video. Um, so beyond that, Brian Arkham as well. Another good buddy of mine I talk to all the time. The guy deserves way more subs. He puts out videos whenever he gets to it and I appreciate that. You know, he does it when he can. And he, he shows tons of stuff if you're a big Doom guy, if you like tons of old school metal, all these things. The guy's got good taste across the board. He likes a lot of synthesizer music. If you like all these kinds of things, I think Brian would be somebody definitely worth subscribing to in my book. And the last one I'm going to say is Gordon over at the Black and Hymns channel. He does tons and tons of really good stuff whenever he does it. Another person who puts it out when he gets to it. And I, again, I still appreciate that. There's no knock against anybody. It's, it's hard to keep to a schedule. I understand. I only do it every week just because I'm really bent on growing this channel further and further. Um, but Gordon's got great taste. Another black metal guy. He likes a lot of hardcore and punk. Uh, all these different kinds of things. So, again, another guy. Be linked down in the description. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go give all seven people listed in the description a subscribe if you do not have, if you have not already, I should say. Uh, but, yeah, definitely get up on that. I'll see you guys on Friday with the next video. See you later. Keep it greasy.